Well, I managed to lift it onto the table, but it was very hard. And tomorrow I may not be able to move. I haven't damaged my back. This is the most exciting part, isn't it? Cutting that tape. I'm wondering, was it a good thing? Or have I made a big boo-boo? Who knows? Well, I don't think I've seen this in anybody else's before. But it's looking quite nice. Looks like I've got a green thin. Pretty. Pale green. Don't know if you can see that. Um, nice lightweight. Just need to know if these things are washable or not. I guess upholstery fabric is none of it's going to have a stretch, is it? I like that. Ooh. Now, this one, again, I don't think you can see the colour, but it is pale green. I'm just going to try something. No, that doesn't help at all. Um, so this is pale green. Very smooth and shiny on the front. But it looks like this on the back. It, it feels a bit like the scuba. A lot of sort of fraying to it, but I think that's quite normal with upholstery fabrics. I do like that, it just feels very strange. That's probably blind fabric, I would imagine. Oh, not all green things, because here we have pink. Again, it's, it's quite a thin fabric, quite a bit of movement to it. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. Who was talking about this yesterday? So this is curtain fabric, isn't it? That, that stuff at the top. Oh my goodness, that's going to be amazing. Who wants pink curtains? I need to find out who in the family would like some pink curtains with that sort of netty stuff at the top. Back to green. This is a very dark olive green. So it is nice. I think it's different on the back than the front, if you can see that. Um, it's got a bit of shine to it. It reminds me a little bit of those um, tonic coats that they had around when I was a teenager that many of you will not remember, but some of you will. Um, I think you could make something out of that. I think you'd make a skirt or a jacket with that if it was washable. You look a really nice pencil skirt, but not on me because it's not the sort of thing I wear. This is black. Got a nice shine to it. Floppy and floaty as well. Again, you could make a lovely skirt and maybe even trousers with that if it was washable. Or if you don't mind having your clothes dry cleaned. I don't know. That, there is some lovely fabric in here. This feels, this piece feels heavy. Um, it, it looks like a knit. It's got, yeah, it, it's actually got a knitted look to it. Um, a bit of a shine. Back to the green theme again. No idea what you'd do with that. I think it would be, I think that's probably too stiff for clothes. So, yeah, I'd have to think about what you do with that. This is a lovely colour. Make a super lining for something, wouldn't it? Shiny. Shiny both sides. Satiny, I guess. Then that, I, I do think that would make something really nice, clothes-wise, apart from um, 
upholstery wise. Always the burgundy. But it's nice, it's very dark on the back, paler on the front, and got a nice pattern to it. Sort of lightweight again. So I have chairs that need to be covered, just care chair seats. I'm not entirely sure I've got enough of anything to cover them in, although maybe this one. I think a few people have had this and I absolutely love it. I reckon I could cover my seats with that and they'd look really, really snazzy, wouldn't they? So yeah, I'm pleased with that one. Um, I'm never disappointed with anything really because I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do with it either, either way. Yeah, that's nice and thick. That's my seat covers, I think. I have to consult with my sons later on and see what they think. I've got a piece of navy blue. Can you see that that's navy blue? The lighting in here is shocking. I might have to go through and do this all again in a minute. Um, yeah, that's nice. It's sort of plain. I think that might be what Laura used to make her dressing gowns. I have to find out if she thinks it's going to wash or not. And then a nice pale yellowy mustardy version of that one that I had in red. And I love this as well. And I do need to do cushion covers. So I might do cushions in that. I've got a lounge diner. And I don't think it'll be a problem if I did the cushion covers in one colour and the seat covers in another. They're not that close together. I like those. Yeah, I'm pleased. I wasn't really sure what to expect with this. And at £30 I think, well, you can't really complain. So there we go. I'll take some photos as well later.